Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, August 6th, 2019 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, love is my conscious revolution. And today we are finishing up the second part of Revolution Evolution Day. Um, that's where Uranus energy kind of tries to poke us. Um, and we do, we are still finishing up Moon and Libra. And we have one aspect with the Moon and Libra before it shifts to Scorpio, which is going to have some important energy for us. But this lunar shift, I've heard from some people that this third part of Mercury retrograde, um, the shadow, the final shadow part as it moves over these degrees in Cancer, has actually been the hardest one. And I do think that right now, it's so important for us to really be aware of these pains, of these sorrows, of these energies, of these darknesses, of these traumas that we are carrying within. And so as Mercury is moving through Cancer, it's like it's trolling the bog. It's going through and it's bringing stuff up. And this aspect between the Moon and Mercury and Cancer, Moon and Libra, Mercury and Cancer, the square may feel uncomfortable. There is discomfort in order to bring to your attention these sorrows, these energies that need to be processed on this yin level. This is the the inner voice, but it's the high priestess card in traditional tarot. With your high conscious yin self, nurturing, tending to these energies. So, you know, the moon moves through fairly quickly. This is, <laughs> it's a tiny piece in the scope of the day. But if you are feeling some heaviness, some people are like, man, this lion's gate is so heavy. There is so much other stuff going on besides that. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't necessarily think that this is the lion's gate bringing this intensity. I feel like there's so much going on. I also think that we're feeling the heaviness of a world that is in crisis over the hate that is still being carried. So process your sorrow because sorrow can lead to resentment and that resentment can lead to hate and that hate can lead to lashing out in many sorts of ways. Violence hate, violence that causes harm comes in many different forms. Now, not all <laughs> violence that causes harm kills, um, but we do need to be aware of the violence, that energetic violence that we are putting out and tend to it. So speaking of that, <laughs> speaking of violence, um, just kidding, <laughs> need to have a little levity. Moon is moving into a Scorpio. Doo -doo -doo. The moon is shifting into Scorpio at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. So we always give ourselves a little like time whenever <laughs> a planet shifts for those who like sound effects. Um, <laughs> take a little time with the moon shifting to allow yourself to adjust to the Scorpio energy. Now, Scorpio is going to be joining um, the water forces <laughs> to help bring up that from the shadows. Now, we need to, again, process our shadows. They may be from this life. They, they may be from another lifetime of yours. They may be from your ancestral lineage. They may be somebody else's that you have some level of vibration with that matches that you're empathetically picking up on theirs on a more conscious level because you haven't yet gotten in touch with yours. Be aware of these things that come up. That's the gorgeousness. The gorgeousness of Scorpio energy is that it can bring awareness to the shadows. And Scorpio is not afraid to plumb the depths. And we need to do this. Just a few more days, like five more days, until Mercury moves into Leo, Jupiter goes direct. And that's going to bring a whole lot of light with it. But until then, be willing to to show and go where this is working. So, um, Moon in Scorpio is making one connection in the day that is in opposition with Uranus. Uranus and Taurus. And Uranus and Taurus is shaking up stuff on this Earth level. So be aware of the shadows that are coming up. Be aware of the shadows that are being reflected by the state of our Earth. Like one shadow <laughs> over consumerism reflected by the plastic that they dredge up in the ocean, you know? There's so many shadows that we can see. Be aware of the shadows that are coming up for you. Um, 
in regards to what the earth is showing you. Uh, we live in a place that can be very fiery. What about the fires that are untended to you, the volcanoes that are untended to you within? Let nature give you a clue where you need to look. Mahalo seconds that. One other thing I do want to mention, tomorrow we are going to have, tomorrow as in Wednesday, we do have the sun in conjunct Saturn. And these inconjuncts have been intense. And these inconjuncts are causing a bit of yod action going on. So we're going to have um, the sun in Leo being focused on with Saturn playing in and Neptune playing in. There's old karma that is showing up. And our remedy for this karma is to love more. Can you love more through these energies? I'm telling you, you can. <laughs> but you're going to have to ask yourself, how can I love more through these energies? As I have society and pressures pushing on me this way and past life stuff pushing on me this way and those past life patterns, past life and ancestral patterns that keep wanting to suck me down. And then here's love, which is beaming us forward. And I, I love this because here's the other set of the cards. New vision in reverse. There is something new, a new vision, a new way that is coming for us. But we're not quite receptive to this energy yet. It's beyond what we can comprehend where we're at right now. But this gives me hope. We're moving towards it, baby steps. And the more we can get grounded, the more we can um, tend to our humanness, honor the humanness, but also work where the humanness needs some work, we will come into this ding ding. We will come into this new video. So that is it for today. You can always book a reading with me. I highly recommend purchasing a reading package these next few months. Um, they're going to be driving into 2020. Um, in fact, our next retrograde, you're honest, going retrograde on the 11th is taking us into 2020. So there's going to be a lot going on. It's going to get a little dicey. <laughs> it's going to be a little intense. Um, so you can contact me if you are interested in reading packages or just an individual reading. Besides that, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for these messages. I receive these messages too, and I, as much as possible, try to learn from and grow and do my work according to these messages that come through. And these ones today were particularly helpful to me. So thank you, universe. Uh, besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you, and you do have the power. Namaste.